Good morning, Carlotta. Um, my Aunt Dorian is expecting. Please come in. Hello. Hello. Morning. Good morning. Carlotta's just made me some wonderful Kona coffee. Would you like some? Oh, no, no thank you, Carlotta. I... I... I guess it doesn't matter anymore, right? Sure. Carlotta, I'd love some coffee. Thank you. Excuse me. Wow, your... Your new sofas are in the beautiful, Dorian. Thank you. Listen, Blair, I know that you're upset. But, honey, look, you're doing the only thing that you possibly can do. You think what a mess your life would be if you went ahead and you had Todd's baby. Dorian, please, please keep your voice down. I'm sorry, but there's nothing to worry about. Kelly happens to be off at Landview University registering, and David hasn't been home since last night. Is he, is he with another woman? Did you catch him? I talked to my lawyer. And if I can catch him in an act of adultery, he won't be able to take half of everything that I have. Oh, indeed, I know. And I took your advice, and I have ever so gently but firmly pushed him in the direction of infidelity. Looks like it didn't take much of a shove. Any minute now, he should be out of my life for good. And out of Kelly's, too, thank goodness. He has managed to convince her that he is a poor, sad, neglected soul. Yuck. Yuck, indeed. She gave me an earful. She told me I was being so unfair to that louse. <sighs> Looks like he's really got her snowed, huh? The safest thing for someone as trusting and accepting as Kelly is to keep her as far away as humanly possible from a lout like David. Dorian, just because a man disappears overnight does not mean he's committed adultery. Okay. So even if he is in bed right now with a woman, as we speak, I still have to prove it. He is, and I will. It's a done deal, Blair. Proof is going to be delivered here by this afternoon. When you set it up? Well, it's to say that um, I have an investigator in my employ who has a knack for such things, and he has certain women in his employ who have a knack for that sort of thing. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Here, Thank you, Carlotta. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Money. Miss Daniel. Thank you. I thought you might like a refill, Mrs. Vickers. Oh, well, I'll take care of it myself. Thank you so much, Carlotta. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So what good is a divorce? David still has Irene's diary. Can he take that diary and hand it over to the police and have you railroaded straight back to prison? Yes, he can. But then again, he'll end up in prison himself for forgery and perjury. A good little boy and plays his cards just right. He could end up with an amicable divorce. Think about it. What would you choose? Hmm? Given the choice between divorce, uh, prison, and poverty, or divorce, millions of dollars, and freedom. Well, some of us didn't get a choice. But here's to you, and it's good to see your fight back. What's the matter? Is there something wrong with the coffee? No. It's me. I'm... <laughs> Even though I... I won't be pregnant in a few hours, I'm still pregnant now and I can't. Dorian, are you sure that no one else is ever going to know about this? This is me. I've made all of the arrangements myself. Everything's going to be very, very discreet. It'll be a quick procedure. There shouldn't be any discomfort. You'll be in the recovery room maybe two, three hours, and then you can come home. As for aftercare, well, you just have to remember, no sex for three weeks. Oh, yeah, well, that's a real problem for me. If anybody asks, just say that you had a DNC. Oh, I doubt if I'll run into any of my close friends at the hospital. Or Tom. No. 
Not much chance that Todd would ever be at the hospital. My name is Mayor Daniel, and I'm here for a surgical procedure with Dr. Wiley. Yes, Ms. Daniel. Down the corridor on the right. Thank It's going to be all right. These things happen. Emergencies come up, and Dr. Wiley shouldn't be too long. Look, I cannot even believe that I'm here to do what I'm here to do. Doreen, look, why don't why don't you go home? No, I'm not gonna look, let you face I know this alone. That you really want to find out what the investigator found out on David, and I would feel better. I insist, okay? Please. Really? Yes. Well. All right, but I, I'll make arrangements so somebody calls me the minute you're out of the recovery room. Thank you. I'll be fine. Mm. Anything, am I? No, Dorian, uh, you weren't interrupting anything. Carlotta was just keeping me company while I waited for you. Can, can I get you something, Mrs. Vickery? I'll take some club soda with lime. Thank you. Clint, would you like anything? No, thanks. Excuse me. Thank you, Carlotta. Would you like to tell me why you are here today? Of course. Vicky's going to be coming home pretty soon, and she's going to be going into some pretty intense therapy with Dr. Hannon. I'm hoping that she will give Dr. Hannon all the help you can she asks for. Clint, I have already said everything I possibly can on the subject. If Vicky came here that night, she was upset because she found out that David was not her brother. She was convinced that I was in on the scam. She told me that she had proof that I had murdered her father when everybody knows I have said from the very beginning that I did not kill Victor. Dorian, but... I really don't care about you and David. And frankly, I, I don't think I even care about who killed Victor. All I care about is Vicky and getting her well again. It's a good time to clean the kitchen. Thank you, Carlotta. Well, I see you're in another one of your ugly moods. Oh, is that what you see? Well, I just won a tennis tournament for charity. Winnie really, and I thought you believed charity begins and ends at home. Speaking of home, you didn't come home last night. Oh, I hope you had a wonderful time. You know, I'm sorry. I don't think any of your photographs are going to turn out because it seems the film got overexposed. Listen to me. I am on to you, and I have made it my business to find out Pennsylvania law regarding adultery. So get this, and you might want to write it down so you don't forget it. There's nothing that you could say that would be too complicated for me to understand. You are never going to catch me with another woman because I'm never going to be with another woman as long as you are. So help me. My wife, I will never commit adultery, no matter what. No matter what. I will take cold showers until I'm a, I'm a bloodless blue prune, but you can forget about catching me, because it ain't going to happen. No matter what? Very good. You are never going to toss me out without a penny. No matter what. <laughs> 